by little, right? 360. <laughs> I had to take that breath. What was that? I don't know what that was. I forgot. It was 3.15. What did I do? 7 or 8? I don't know. You count it out. 7 or 8. I can't put it down. I can't remember. I can't remember, fellas. I the China was 7 or 8. Turn this up. 
Good night, Tommy. All right. That's a good workout. You're getting all the bones and sinews getting used to it. I don't remember what I did. Seven? Eight? I don't know. I'll write it down. I gotta watch it again. Either way, that's good. That's 315. I think I had a little more for that 360. But you have to concentrate. When it's heavy like that, especially on bench, and I felt uh, I was getting a slip off the pond. <sighs> Anyhow, a good Monday workout. I'll do it till I feel a little staleness, you know, burned out wiring. Then I'll switch back to the suspended plates for a week or two. So that's my basic Monday workout. You're going to see it all. I did a, I start with these, the one with the back, you know, I just pull on it. And then I, I do my lateral raises, front raises. The same thing I did before. That warms me up. And then uh, I do my 135 for 10. What did I do? And I 225 for 5. And then 275. At that point, I do what's called rapid singles. I'll get into that one day. I unload it. I do it. Put it back. Hold on. Do it again. So I'm getting the unloading. Unloading's hard, I'm telling you. And then I put the slingshot on. And you saw what I did. All right, and 315 for what? I don't know. But it was still good. That's my base of Monday workout. Tomorrow's back. Yeah, it's going. It's getting in. The, the, the slip shots are good. A training tool. It'll let you work with a little more weight. It's a great product. You know, why not think of it, right? It's like the paper clip. You don't think about it. <laughs> That's a nice royalty right there. But anyhow. Uh, yeah, good product. I, what I do with this is something. See, I was trying to make something like that. I can get to that heavy part and still not get jammed up because I train alone. This is real good if you train alone, too. Uh, it also is a prerequisite for the the bench shirt. You know, they use in competition. So this is a good way to get used to that. And if you want to go that route, but I know the bench shirts are expensive. Uh, it's not easy, fellas. I feel a lot of different muscles getting more work than other muscles. And I'm wondering if a lot of this is not just taking some weight off as it's forcing you to pin those shoulder blades tight. And I can see when I'm coming down, I'm in a different pick. My line's a little different. So it might help you in your form, too. It's keeping you tight. You got to get that shoulder blades tight. And when you unrack, right, they come apart again. That's why you see them when they compete. They get someone to unload them because they unrack them. Because if they do it themselves, they're kind of screwing up. If you notice, that's why when I get unracked, then I drop my shoulders back in. You see what I'm saying? I, you go up. I try to push out that way. Not up, but you got to push up a little bit. And then I let it settle. Then I do it. And they touch and go because that's what I do. Okay? That's what I do. When it gets to competition, I'll do it. What the heck? But right now, touch and go. I'm not playing games. I'm doing maxes. Anyhow. 360. So I jumped 10 pounds from last week. I don't know. 5 pounds would have been fine every week. But I felt a lot in the tank last time I did. I was just trying it out. So that's that. All right, so good product. I would recommend it to anybody. Just get the one you need. This one is it's got the tapered tops. All right, you need it. My arm's pretty big. I can feel it tighten up on it. This one's about an inch smaller. I can feel that. That's why I do dumbbells. So you get the one you need. This is for guys that can bench over three. Because if you don't, you're gonna be you're gonna actually be pulling it down on you. Because you won't be able to do. It. And I got another one with black. That's even for, I don't know, four pounders, 400 pounders, but uh, pound benches. And then you get the other one. They got the regular, uh, original would be good. 
I mean, come up with a good product. You got to give the guy credit. Man. I mean, <laughs> the guy's a millionaire from there. Uh, they're not cheap. That's why I say, my friend, hey, thanks, man. I mean, Jesus. All right. So it's a good training tool to get you up in weight. It'll definitely improve my raw bench. All right. And uh, I, I don't even worry about doing 330 right now. You know what I mean? I'm unracking 360. A month ago, I had to do that. That was hard, man. Getting, getting it unracked. That's what I tell you. You got to max the max. Even if it's just unloading it, locking it out, count the 10 and back. But that's if that's what you want to do. Okay, so. What else can I say? It's my normal Monday workout. My Thursday workout's a little different. For bench, huh? Tomorrow's back. Uh, Wednesday's legs. Thursday's normally these. But lately with these dumbbells. But lately I've been pushing twice on the bench. I'm basically improving my technique. There's a lot to bench, man. You have no idea. Okay, so that's it. Are you lifting hard and heavy? Well, I think I did a little bit. Okay, you guys take care. Uh, make sure you get out and vote next two months and I'm pissed off. We ain't going to say I can't do that shit. You know? Okay. The sign's out front. Wolf's Garden. Wolf's Garden, my sign. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, I gotta go. Love you all. Thanks for the comments. What can I tell you? All right? Stay safe, okay?